Let me show you this paper here. Imagine getting this from your company because you quit your job. Final demand to pay. If the company fires you, you pay them. If you quit, you pay them. This is insane. I've seen a lot of bad job contracts, and this is by far the worst job contract I've ever seen someone sign. This is pretty much slavery with extra steps. Imagine getting a job out of college. It's your first job. You decide you don't like it. You want to go somewhere else. So you quit after a few months. But the contract you've signed says that you have to pay back an entire year's worth of salary to the company that hired you. It also says that if the company fires you, you have to pay them an entire year's worth of salary. And here's where it says that. As such, if an employee resigns or is terminated for just cause, as defined by the law of the Philippines, or to causes directly attributable to the fault or negligence of the employee prior to the minimum term, the employee will pay the company the liquidated damages specified in the job offer, which is one year's worth of salary. So how many times have you heard just cause when there was actually no cause, you know? So there's that. Now, if you haven't wondered by now, this isn't in the United States. This is in the Philippines. In the United States, we usually have what's called at-will employment. It means you're free to quit and they're free to fire you at any time. In the EU, it's more common to have, okay, I agree to give you three months notice and the company agrees to give the employee three months notice if they want to part ways. I've never seen it so one-sided that basically if you take a job here, you can't quit or you have to pay back what I would have paid you. Why even keep anyone around? Why not? Why just have an entire company just hiring people and then fire them and now by law they are forced to pay you back an entire salary that you didn't even have to pay. So a viewer from the channel actually sent me this contract in and in an email they basically said, look, I know I signed the contract. It is what it is. I'm not really sure what to do. It was like my first job out of college. I was just trying to pay for my bills and my parents' bills and they're old, they can't work, but I decided it's not for me, so I quit. And now they're coming after me. And now my career's on the line and I'm, I might even go to jail if I can't pay it back. And so I just want to put this company on blast. Some people might be thinking, Josh, nobody forced them to sign the contract. Yeah, that's true. This is what I would call predatory hiring practices. It's like ITT Tech here. Remember the for-profit educational college that we had in the US, the one that shut down because of predatory lending practices. Nobody was forcing those people to sign their student loans right? But they were promised growth in their career via their education, similar to this. So while I can't change the fact that he signed the contract, I can make sure everyone knows that this company does this to their employees. And they have about 800 or 1,000 employees, which I'll, I'll show you their LinkedIn page and all that stuff. But it just makes me wonder how many of those employees just literally can't quit. Like if you work there for three days and then you quit, you're now liable to pay them for a year. According to this, it says, Employer may terminate subject to company policies and labor laws. Let me show you the company policies because it's a joke. During the course of employment, employee agrees to exhibit real passion for work. So all you got to do is just not exhibit enough passion and boom, you've broke company policy and now they can fire you and you owe them a year's worth of salary. Then right here it says we are giving you five days from date hereof. And if you don't, we're going to start charging 6% interest. And then if you don't do that, we will file civil and criminal cases against you because you worked here and quit. That is what this says. Here's the Facebook page, by the way. It's Trends and Technologies Incorporated, if you didn't get the memo. I'll just pause here, or you can pause. Just get a good look at it for a second. This is Trends and Technologies. This is what they do to their employees. I wonder who would be responsible for such policies. Well, it would be a guy named uh, Hassan Fard. I personally think it's hilarious that the CEO has been quoted saying, fortunately, we were able to turn a profit in year one, and we have been a profitable company consistently for all 29 years since then. If this is how you hire and fire people, you don't even need a product to be a profitable company at that point. Like I said, what's stopping people from making a company, offering positions of work, making this person sign this contract, and then firing them because they weren't cheering enough, because they didn't show enough real passion for the work they were doing? How could you not be a profitable company? I'm just going to call you Hassan Fart. Okay, that's your new name. This is my appeal to you as a CEO of the company. You have the power to change this policy and employ your workers like the rest of the world. Let them quit their job if they don't like your company and don't make them pay you for nothing. I could see maybe getting some of the training costs you paid or relocation fees. I've seen stuff like that or, you know, for sure getting your company assets back like phones, laptops, but making someone pay 
for work that they weren't even paid for is insanity. Change the policy. You can still have some kind of guarantee that makes it so they want to work for you, but this isn't so they want to work for you. This is they have to or else kind of thing. Here is their vision, mission, and values. I'm just going to skip straight to uh, trust and faith in God is their first value, which I thought was interesting because the way that you are hiring people right now does not seem like a very godly thing to do. I don't necessarily think God would be like, hey, you work for me and you quit after a few months. You owe me an entire year's worth of pay. Yeah, I, you know, this man was just trying to provide for his family. I just don't, you know, it's always interesting that that's one of their values. I just, looking at this company just makes me think this entire company exists simply because a lot of people probably can't quit without having to pay money back. Imagine getting an installment payment plan from your company because you just quit. That's it. Now you have a payment plan. By the way, they're hiring. Here are their current openings. Lots of people, and they're all probationary, of course, as you would expect, right? We can fire you, you pay. Now, the CEO, again, Hassan Fard, chairman and CEO of this company, has the power to change this policy. Um, I don't care if all your other Filipino company friends do it there, and so you don't want to be different. Um, you should be, because it's the right thing to do. Avoid companies like this. Let other people know companies are trying to bait you in like this. Um, I have saw no real benefits to working at this company other than a regular job working in IT. So anyways, guys, that's all I have for you today. That's Trends and Technologies once again. And if you enjoyed the video, click the like button. Subscribe if you'd like to see me call out the corporate world some more because I'm happy to do so. Um, if you have anything else like this you want me to roast, go ahead and send it to me. I got emails, Instagram, Discord, however you want to send it to me. I hope you guys have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.